just a quick lesson on how to import a whole Maya file into another Maya file or just a single object into another Maya file. So I've created this little scene. I have this kind of, you know, funky little planetary shape. Um, I have a Arnold AI standard wax shader on it right now. And behind here, I have a sky dome light. If I render this, you'll see it looks like this guy, which is cool. So I have saved this to my desktop. It's ready to go. So now all I have to do is if I have a different file that I want to bring this into, so I just created an, a new scene here, I can just go to File and Import. I can go find that one that I saved to my desktop there. That was my import lesson. And you'll see if I import it, boom, it brings that into this other scene, no problem. So you can just import one Maya file into another. Now keep in mind, it did bring the sky dome with it. So if that other scene had different lighting and you don't want to bring all that with it, um, then you might want to consider just exporting the object and not the whole Maya file, right? So if I'm going to do that, let me go back and just open up the recent, the original. There we go. So here's the original again. Then what I can do is I can just select the object that I want to export and go to File, Export Selection, okay? And when I click on that, it's going to give me some options. Do I want to include the history, the channels, the expressions, the constraints? Do I want to include texture information, all of that? So I can just say Space Object Only, and again, save that to my desktop, and just export that selection. And now that I actually have that, um, I can just import that object. So I could import just the object into here. I'll go to File and Import in my desktop. And there it is, Space Object Only. And now I have two space objects. If I move that over, there's the second one, right? And it didn't bring the sky dome with it. It just brought the object. So if one of you are you know, designing out more of the lighting and the scene and the other one has the object that's going to go into it, you might just want to do that import selection. So really simple, really easy way to merge two projects together, particularly when you're working in teams, or how to start to bring all these separate elements together into one big scene in the end. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.